Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to learn about the last letter in our alphabet, letter Z. Before we do so, let's listen to our song. Ready? Zip and zigzag to the zoo, zoom off to see the zebra. Z E B R A Z E B R A Z E B R A. Zoom off to see the zebra. Very good, boys and girls. Where does Zach was going? Off to the zoo to see zebra. Letter Z makes a sound. What sound? Z, z. Very good. And then we have uh, lots of pictures around us to show us what starts with letter Z. We have Zach, the funny zebra, right? We have another Zach right there. We have zipper for your clothes. This is a picture of the zoo. Which animals you, like the zoo map, where do you go to see different animals? And somebody made a zigzag out of the blocks. We're going to start also with our story. I have a story about Zach, the lazy zebra. Hmm, I wonder why Zach is sleeping and snoring all the time. Let's find out. Zach the lazy zebra. Let's listen for all the words with letter Z. Zach the zebra lives at the zoo all day long. What does Zach do? What does he do? What do you think, boys and girls? He is yawning, so I guess he is very sleepy. You were right, he is snoring the whole time. The zookeepers bring a zebra snack, but it doesn't wake up Zach. Zach has no zest. He wants to rest. Zzz. He's telling him, try to some zucchini. How about some zitties? Mm -mm, he doesn't want anything. They zap Zach with a garden hose. They try to wake him up with the water. Did he get up? No, he did not. They bang a drum. They tickle his nose. Zach's eyes stay closed. He wants to doze. Zzz. See, they tickle him. He is still snoring. He doesn't want to wake up. They try a zillion zany tricks. Look, they play with the balloons. They do tricks on the wheel. Nothing wakes up Zach. They hop around on pogo sticks. Hop, hop. Is he still snoring? <laughs> yes, he is. Zach thinks their tricks are boring. He goes on snoring. Look, here comes Zed, a zebra with a zinc. <gasps> Whoa, maybe his friend will wake him up. He looks like he is awake, doesn't he? <gasps> Let's find out. He zooms and zigzags around everything. Will Zed make Zach wake up and leap? Do you think he's going to help his friend? Do you think his friend will be awake now? Let's find out. No. Now two zebras want to sleep. Zzz. Two of them want to sleep now. Do you see it, boys and girls? Oh, no. The zookeepers are so, so worried. At least, the zoo, at least the zookeepers gave up their schemes. They wish Zach and Zed sweet zebra's dreams. See, they just brought them a blanket and decided they gave up on them. They said, well, if they're sleepy, let them sleep. Zzz. And here they are snoring. And they went over to take care of other animals. Z cheer. Z is for zebra. Z is for zoo. Z is for zucchini and Z too. Z is for zipper. Z is for zap. Z is for z when you nap. Hooray for Z, big and small, the zippiest, zaniest letter of all. 
That's a very, very silly story, right? Boys and girls, I hope you like that. So we're going to go back to our board and see what else do we have that starts with letter Z here. And actually, how are we going to make the letter Z? As we said before, we have our zebra here. Zach is a zebra. He zips around the zoo. Z, 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 zig, zag, zoom. Very good. I have one more picture of Zach here. And here is a board actually that will show us how we make the letter Z. Again, boys and girls, remember we stop start in the top, we go from top to bottom, left to right, remember? So we start on the top, we make the line, we stop, then we need to make one across slanted line and one on the bottom, see it? Right on the top, slanted line, line across and one on the bottom. The little one looks exactly the same, we just start in the middle. Remember, a line, slanted line across, and one in the on the bottom. One, two, three lines, ready? One in the top, slanted line, one in the bottom. Little z, one in the top, slanted line, one on the bottom. Very good. So boys and girls, we're going to practice our letter Z on our practice sheets. What I have for pre-K, pre-K four, actually pre-K three can do it too if you want to. You have a picture of zipper and then you have your dots here. So we're going to practice writing letters Z go around a bit, okay? For pre-K three though, I have one more activity because your hands are getting used to hand driving. I want you to do a lot of zigzags. Ms. Marta did some of the green ones here. They go up and down, side to side. And then what I want you to do, I want you to take different markers or crayons or whichever uh, material you would like to use, maybe pencil, and make as many zigzags as you can. Remember, the zigzag has a pointy and remember it's not wavy line it's pointy line so you will start go up and down side to side and later on when you're going to use your hand with one motion it's going to be much easier for you when you go to pre-k4 and then you can do the letter z in one motion like side down side without stopping. So first, when you practice, you can make a lines and you can stop and make those points here. But if you know how to do it and your hand is really steady and your eyes know where you want, when you want, where you want your hand to go, you can do it that way too. One more thing, when you hold your pencil, crayon or marker, what do we use? What do we do? We use three fingers and we pinch remember we are not going this way we are not holding it that way either we used three fingers see it pinch like three hungry fingers and they pinch marker so again pre-k4 will practice letter z pre-k3 is going to do a lot of zigzags or if both grades would like to do both activities that's okay too also for pre-K four, I have your phonics sheets. You're going to look at the page and then find the letter Z's when you see them. Some of them are tricky because we have a lowercase letter and capital letter. So you can, you can actually look at them, find them, circle them again. On the second page, you practice letter Z. Then we will look at the pictures and see what actually starts with letter Z? What do we have here? We have zipper to use for your clothes or your pants. We have pot, zebra, yuck, zoo, and zigzag. Where do you hear the letter Z? Which picture should we circle? You're right, z, z, zebra, z, z, zipper, Z, z, zoo, z, z, zigzag. Very good. Let's repeat all the words. Zipper, zebra, zoo, and 
Zigs up. Very good. Then you turn the page and um, you are going to see some cars here. The cars have different pictures. You only color the cars that have a picture of something that starts with letter Z. What do we have here? We have Fox. Does Fox start with letter Z? No. Zero. How about zero? Very good. So we, we color the car with zero. Pretty three, what do you see here? Hey, good job, guys. You're little, but you know it's a zigzag. Very good. You colored the car with zigzag. Now we have a quarter here. So no. How about zipper? Z, z, zipper. Very good. And then you color zipper and practice the letter on the bottom. Now we have one more, and then you need to show me if you can write the letter Z. Try to make one hand motion. We have zoo, box, zigzag, zero, yarn, and zipper. Do you know where to put the letter Z, where to write the letter Z? Not gonna tell you. I think you know, so please finish that page as well. And on the end, you are going to finish our words, zebra, zipper, zipper, zero, and the zoo. Very good job. So this is pre-K for homework. Now, just let's go over again. Letter Z makes the sound Z. And how do we write it? We make a line on the top, slanted line, and one in the bottom. Can we do one hand motion? One, two, three, and one more time. Very good. What starts with letters Z, boys and girls? Do you know? Zoo, very good. Zoo starts with letters Z. You can see a different animals. We have a zoo map right here too. What else starts with letters Z? Z, of course, zebra. How many zebras do I have on my board? Let's count. One, two, three zebras and one on the card. So we have four zebras all together. Zipper starts with letter Z. We have zipper here and then one on the other picture. Very good. And there is none here, but I have zero the hero. We have zero as well. Very good, boys and girls. Now I have one more activity. Actually, it's going to be our art project for letter Z for both pre-K 3 and pre-K 4 classes. We are going to make zebra. Hmm, you don't know how? I will show you. Look, I put it on the box so you can see better. My zebra is made out of paper. So what you're going to do, you're going to cut three pieces, three rect rectangular pieces. Two of them can be shorter, one of them can be a little bit longer. And the shorter ones will go on the top, uh, I'm sorry, top and the bottom and the longer will go across like this. See it? You glue them together, just like Miss Martha did. Then you cut the small pieces of black paper. I use actually one of the pages from the magazine. I didn't have a black paper, but I found something that was black. So I cut, um, I cut the small stripes. And what you're going to do, you're going to glue them on the body of your zebra. Does it sound okay? Very good. Now, you need to make half circle. You can draw a circle and cut it in a half for zebra's face. It's going to go on the front and a triangle for his ear. I only made one, but you can make two. Zebra has two ears, of course, and the eye. Zebra also has a hair. They, zebra has some hair, so I Put some extras right on the top so my zebra has some hair over there too. So you can you can do it too. So again, how are we going to make a zebra? Either if you don't want to cut, you can actually draw a Z on a piece of paper. But if you cut, you need three rectangles, right? Two of them shorter, one longer. The shorter are going on the top and on the bottom. The longer goes across. 
then cut the stripes of papers that it's blue, I mean black, or if you don't have anything black, you can actually use black marker and then you can, oh, I'm sorry, you can draw stripes on your zebra and color it that way. It's okay too. Then you need half of the circle for the top, for the face, and then you need triangle for ear and additional stripes of paper for the hair if you want to and make an eye. So please make Zach the zebra. Well, I make Zach. Maybe your zebra will have a different name. If you choose to um, use different name for your zebra, please let me know. I am so anxious to see all the zebras coming to our school very soon. I would like to see them all. I, I only hope that they're not as lazy as the Zach and they don't sleep all day long. I hope they will have some fun together. So have fun making zebra and see you soon. There we go.